Hello everybody, Joel here, Devon Dice, bringing you another unboxing video. This time it's an expansion. Here's the expansion. I know there's no name on this because it's the expansion to this game, which has no name on it. Uh, this is called Paper Tales. And this is the expansion. It is called Beyond the Gates. So there's the details. It's 12 plus, still plays in 30 minutes, but the difference here, look, show you that. Can you see the difference? I'll bring the other one in. There, two to five on the original core box. One to seven players. Exciting. On the back, so you've got some more units or more cards to play, six new buildings, a solo mode, and components that take it to seven players. Let's go. You want to read the synopsis? There you go. Uh, and you also you notice another fit change thing. Logos. Old Steve Bonacor has got his name on this one this time. The front cover. But anyway, so rules, same as normal. I've actually, to be honest, read through this already a bit just to get an idea of what's going on because it kind of confused me. So here's a punch board. These 50 tokens are not coins, they're actually markers if someone actually gets around 50 points. Because if you remember on the score track, this score track, this score track goes, uh, goes only to 49. To be honest, at the minute, I'm not seeing one of my games go past 49. I think someone got very close, maybe got past 40, but I've never seen it go past 49. So maybe this expansion will change all that. So we've got some 50 markers. And then we've got these room tiles. These confused me. I was like, oh, is there something special that comes out that needs these? No, not really. They are randomizers so when you each game you start you actually flip over three of them and they will be the three new buildings you are using in that game only so they're just a randomizer which is kind of quite cool actually it's quite nice so where are we going here then big big deck of cards uh to be honest they came in two two um blister packs and then two more markers for the two extra players. And then more, more drugs bags, because you can always do with more drugs bags. Here is the new cards. So you've got three of those, because remember, that tells you how many cards you get. Two more of those, two of those, an imp. So he gets a agent token on him when you reveal him. And then he, you get minus points. This is actually something to notice. There's some minus points now. So he dies. If he dies at the end of the round and he's only got one single agent token on him, minus two points. Bit of a blow. Um... Some more resources. Smuggler. A gin. A gin. A gin. A gin. I don't know how you say that. A genie, basically. By the looks of it. So you, when you reveal it, you freely upgrade one of your buildings from a one to a two. A bit like... The other, it's like a giant creature now, I can't remember it, but that done a similar thing. Then it gets a, uh, what, you put one unit on all your units, and you also gain a coin. That's pretty powerful, but he's only one strong. Princess, only one card. Princess doubles 
the legend war points earned by your buildings on phase three. Okay, sounds interesting. Lost soul at age six, seven points when lost soul dies. Wow, it's pretty pricey, but it's a nice seven points when he dies. Okay, so as you can see, there is a lot. There's some nice new cards. Slightly disappointed that was all that came in it. I was expecting a few more, but hey, there is quite a lot of cards already in the base game. Who is to complain? So, also, you get two reference cards for the extra two players, and then you get two extra cards for the original buildings from the original set for the extra players. Okay, so that's take everyone up. And I do know at the beginning of each game, you will, each player will still start with the same starting buildings as it originally was in a thing, and then you reveal free tokens to reveal three new buildings that will be in place. So players will have seven buildings to choose from on each game. So new buildings, the back room, ignore, is that upgrade when you construct an upgrade or two? Ignore to what? I don't know. It's building, ignore to when you upgrade or construct a building, that's strange. Might be where I have to reach the rules. Um, but I will have to check that out. And then you get plus two when you war with your neighbors. So that's the back room. Abbey, basically gives you two meat. Then war and you get one point for each resource. So you get one point at Warren for each resource in your kingdom, so it's kind of like a storage. And I should say that you get seven cards of the new buildings. The library. So at the end of the round, you get a coin for each of your units that dies. Okay, so you're kind of getting um, uh, research done. And then at Warren, you get one point for each uh, for each agent token in your kingdom. So every person has got an agent token on them. You get you get a point at wartime. Nice. The crit. When you reveal, put an agent token on all your units. At reveal in moments. So every time you reveal, every time you reveal people, you get an agent token. On your people. Oh, interesting. And then when income comes in, you get two money and it also provides you with two meat. That sounds a bit dodgy. And last of all, port. Uh, on the port. So it's actually pretty good. At warring, you get minus two. So you lose a bit of fight power. But in income, you get two gold, which is nice. And then on level two, when you're a war and you get two points per different types of resources in your king kingdom. So I think there's only three to the three types of resources, so there's a possible maximum of six re six points, which sounds pretty good if you can get there. Um, oh, and when you level up, you need to pay two gold as well on top. So I'm wondering if this one is, so the back room, which is slightly confused, I ignore the cost of upgrading or constructing a level two building. So technically, if I had that in my kingdom, I wouldn't need to pay this. No, nope, they all look like they are the same. All still three points. You all still get an extra card at the front. And the powers on level one don't change at all. So technically, this could have fitted in to the core set quite easily, but probably was removed to save money. Last of all, you got the solo expansion. So you got deck of cards, you got 
the Lich King. I don't understand. I haven't read the rules to this yet. You get a reference card, how to play the solo. And these cards, they're numbered one, two, three, four, and E, probably for ending. So it seems interesting. Definitely seems interesting. And I probably will give the solo mode a go. So, there you go. There's the unboxing for the Paper Tales expansion, Beyond the Gates. Coming to you from Catch Up Games and now Stronghold Games. Uh, designed by the same uh, designer, I believe. Yeah, from the same designer, same uh, illustrator as well. Uh, and, uh, yes, looks pretty good. Can't wait to... Get this to the table and see what the new cut new buildings are going to do as well as the few new cards you've got and then also i'd like to see what the solo campaign is a bit or the solo game is like Let's see how interesting that is i've been joel wright and this has been another unboxing video thank you <laughs>